Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys all the books that I've read this year. So I started reading back in May, I think it was May 10th. I've read the first book I've read, and then after reading this specific book, it just got on from there. It just became an, a, a habit or a new hobby or some sort, which is very unfortunate because when I was a kid, I used to hate reading, but now I like it. It's just the irony at its finest. It's funny. So I'm going to be showing you guys all the books I've read. And without further ado, let's get this started, shall we? So these are all the books that I've read. All of these books are in alphabetical order, except for this one. Angels by Billy Graham. This book I've got as like an early Christmas present from my grandma. And it's a religious book. And normally when I read all of the books, or every book or some books, I normally rank them on a scale of 1 to 10, depending on how good they are. But I'm not ranking this book because it is a religious book. And everyone's got their different opinions about religion. And it's a very personal topic to talk about and politics. So I'm just going to leave it at that and start with the actual book review. So first off, we got Felony Ever After by all of these 13 authors. I know one of them is named Anastasia, so I'm just going to leave it at that and not name all of those authors. So one of the authors is named Anastasia, so i just leave it at that. Next up, got What I Left Behind by Jennifer Archer, A Million Pieces by by Meg Gray, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood, The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton. Oh, and fun fact, these two books, The Outsiders and The Fault in Our Stars, I've read these books when I was in high school. I've read this book, The Outsiders, when I was a freshman, and I've read The Fault in Our Stars when I was a senior in high school. Pretty cool, right? Next up, we got the Colleen Hoover books. Got Confess by Colleen Hoover, Layla by Colleen Hoover, and Verity by Colleen Hoover. And I've heard some mixed reviews about Colleen Hoover's books, most of them, in fact, but I decided to give her a shot and read those books, and some of those books are actually really good. Verity is my personal favorite so far that I've read from Colleen Hoover. Next up, we got The Mist by Stephen King and The Sun Dog by Stephen King. They're okay. They're not like horrible or anything, but it's okay. It's decent enough in my opinion. Next up, we got Colorblind by Sierra Maley. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that last name right or the first name because the because it's hard to see the little handwriting there on the side. So <laughs> forgive me if I mispronounce any of these authors' names. So this is not a professional book review to little warning there. Next up, we got Where the Crawdad Sings by Delia Owens. Pretty good book. Her Darkest Secret by Jessica R. Patch. Smile and Look Pretty by Amanda Pellegrino, Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. We got the O'Dwyer Trilogy by Nora Roberts, consistent of Dark Witch, Shadow Spell, and Blood Magic. All of those books are one trilogy, which is the Cousin O'Dwyer Trilogy, like I said. Next is Come Closer by Brenda Rothard. Rothard? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. In Five Years by Rebecca Surley and The Edge of Falling by Rebecca Surley. Pretty good books. And we come to my favorite, one of my favorite authors, Mia Sheridan. Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. More Than Words by Mia Sheridan. And Most of All You by Mia Sheridan. And if there's ever an alternate universe where you can marry any book in the world, it'd definitely be Archer's voice for me because this book is so good. And throughout the years, if I continue reading more books, my book 
um, opinions will change. So Archer's Voice is my number one favorite book of all time for now. Next, we have A Perfect Life by Danielle, St Danielle Steele, Never Never by Serena Valentino, and finally, Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. And that's all of the books that I've read from May of 2022 through December of 2022. And I don't think I'm going to be making another book haul. So this might be the only book haul I'll make. I'll continue reading books and stashing them on a shelf. Though my book, my book collection will continue to get bigger and bigger. And I don't know if I'll have enough. Well, I'll, I'm pretty sure I'll have plenty of time, but I don't want to make another book review. Just want this to be the only book review just so you can get the gist of what I've been reading so far this year and the years to come. So pretty much these are all the books I've read for now so far. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.